Hello, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome, welcome to this video. And this video is going to be maybe two different video, a uh, two two step video, um, and maybe addressing two issues. If I can help the second one, hopefully I can. Um, now, this is uh, specifically for those who may have issues with their particular domain. And I'm going to go to the quick start right now. Um, those who are, you know, uh, specifically, I guess I was targeting the build our business um, users for those who have their links and whatnot. And, um, but, and what I'm going to do is go to the quick start for those who are build our business pro. Um, um, affiliates or users or whatever the terminology you want to call it. Uh, right, now, right now I'm in a quick start tab and my domain is connected. And uh, my domain was already connected to um, build the all prior to we getting the new website and the new main funnel. Um, so the issue I was having is because it was connected to an old website that we were promoting, which was the 30 day free trial website. And I know that's for a limited time or whatever. And each time I would click this, it will still be redirected to that. So I simply, all you have to do is, now if you buy a domain with Builder All, because you could buy the um, domains with Builder All or whatever, this is, shouldn't be an issue with you. But for those of you who may buy, bought a, a domain from another, uh, Domain name provided like GoDaddy or Namecheap, like like mine. Mine's with Namecheap. Now you don't have to um, do anything in GoDaddy or Namecheap. You shouldn't have to do anything with that. So what you simply would do is um, they simply disconnect it. Now I know. Let me see if I can click that right here. Okay. Now if you want to buy a domain with with them, you could do that there as well. Um, now I think what I'm going to do is what I'm finna do is I'm um, basically I'm finna show you how you disconnect it. Okay. And we'll go down to bid our business tab, scroll down, go to the money making funnels. And I'm going to I like said you see all my domains are connected to the different funnels and websites. So I'm gonna hit disconnect. And I'm hit OK. Alright. It says successfully changed. Boom. Now as you can see my um domains uh my domain is not connected anymore. It's just with the uh company website. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll go back to quick start. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is Connect my domain here. Click that, and I'm gonna type it in. No, I'm not like typing it in. I'm just gonna copy this. Copy this. Okay, I already have it right here. And you all need to put all that HTTP, HTTP, and all that type of stuff. You want to make sure it's connected like this. Okay. And once again, I don't have to change the name servers because. I, on Namecheap and this particular domain, I already have it connected. The name service connected, so I don't have to do anything with Namecheap. And if you want to know how to connect the name service with Namecheap, I do have a, a video on my channel on how to connect um, your name service inside of Namecheap. Okay, and it, it could be the same to your blogs. Okay, now what I'm going to do is hit connect your do domain name. Okay, so connect it. Okay. Close, set success. All right. Now, when I click on this, copy. Okay. Go here. Paste and go. Boom. All right. Now we had that for the uh, viral funnel. Okay. Because before, like I said, I had it connected to um, the 30 day trial. And, it, and then, those of you who know how the back office looked before, you had your, done that, your domain. Uh, connected to build our directly to that so that's how you solve that ladies and gentlemen uh, on that part and I'm gonna go back down here now some of you may have issues on um, what I have a particular issue with my particular funnels okay 
I'm going to go back down there to the money making funnels. Okay. We have different funnels back here. And the particular issue is that, close this. The particular issue is that I'm having is that my website showing not secure. Now you have to take in consideration. Maybe it could be your internet provider or maybe it just could be that particular computer that you own or your or that particular web browser that you own. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show on, on three different web browsers. I have this right here. It's not Internet Explorer. And as you can see, my seven-day free trial um, is saying it's not secure on this particular browser. And this is basically the the Windows, like the Windows 10 or whatever version, or just the Windows version of the Internet, I believe. So, or Microsoft, I believe. And on my Chrome, Google Chrome browser, it's also, I'm going to click on uh, my viral funnel right here. Now I'm going to go down here. So we're doing the same thing. My seven day free trial funnel. So I'm going to click this right here. And it's automatically going to redirect me. Uh, it says it's not secure. Your your connection is not private. Okay. Let me copy it here. And I'm going to go to my Firefox. Let's go down here. See, I'm on my Firefox. Okay. And I'm going to go up here. Now. Now, I don't know how to solve this problem. I'm going to say it on these particular browsers. But I was, uh, was able to solve it on my Firefox. Okay. Now, another thing I want to mention is I tried this on another another computer um, in my home with with the uh, all three of these same web browsers and I was able to get on all of my websites fine so um, you know take I'm taking that in consideration because I want to try all of my options and make sure that if there's anything I could find a way that I can still be able to use my uh, website or that there's any error that's not necessary that's why I'm saying this now I tried it like I said, on different, on another computer and all, all three of these web browsers, and I had no issues with my website. Um, also, it's good to take consideration, like, um, you know, search your websites on your mobile devices and all that and make sure there's no errors as well. Okay, and if it is, then, you know, go about it the best way you can to try to solve that. Now, pretty much, um, my seven-day free trial, um, website is working fine on chrome now i mean firefox because it was something that i clicked it has something that click up when it says it's not secure and it led me to this so so that's one way you could help if if you do have this particular issue um why on chrome why it's not secure you can go about that way okay now when i figure it out I mean, you could also do on your own, you know, type in uh, how to change my website, how to how to change my website that says not secure on the Internet 2018. Um, you know, you can look at the videos, you can look at the different, uh, you know, the different websites and things of that nature, how how to get it working on Chrome, how to get it um, my website that's not secure on, on Firefox, all that type of stuff. So you can do on your on your own. Um, I'll do a, I'll probably may do an update, um, a part two to that for those that have an issues that's not, that's saying that their website is not se secure to their website because I know everybody excited about the new launch with Builder All and they want to get really get it, get it out there and, and make money. So that, so we don't want to have those particular issues with our particular website links. So that's pretty much it. I'll probably make a part two. Um, to help any, any individuals and also if you have any um, things that can help with this matter with these particular two matters um, leave in the comment section below um, so that can help others who have these issues as well um, or any suggestions that to help better them to to uh, be able to use Bidar in the best way possible so that's all folks um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And once again, if you 
um, once you already have a domain name with, say, for example, Namecheap, um, check out my video on how to connect your blog or your uh, website to Namecheap. So that's it. Oh, yeah, one thing I did want to try anyway. Um, let me go back here. And I was going to copy. My intention was to copy. But I guess I don't have to. I'm on my Chrome web browser. And I'm going to go back to my Firefox web browser. And what I was tipping to do is show you how to, you know, but now it's showing that I guess I don't have any issues with it, with the website. So that's a good, that's a plus. Okay. All right, with the um, Firefox. So I wanted to show you that. And my intention was to really walk you step by step. Um, this is just a second part of the, uh, just, just, I just want to add that on there. That's what my, that's what my intention. Because I wanted to demonstrate it through Firefox because I was able to break through with Firefox as far as my website not being secure but I haven't um, broken through with these particular browsers here the Chrome and the, the e-browser which is provided by Windows or whatever not Internet Explorer it's a shame I can't think of the name of it uh, it's a dang shame but anyway I just want to add that two cents in there but stay tuned if I do have a part two to helping you guys out there with the websites on it with this issue